According to Charles Darwin, it is not the strongest that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the most responsive to change. Good day, everyone. We are the student nurses from BSN 3E Group 2B. I am Jigsalek Jili Guatan, and together with me are my fellow researchers, Carla Marie Horos, Carmela Lagansoa, Reggie Linga, and Maria Erna Lumanas. We are here to present our research entitled The Lived Experiences of Nursing Students in Nursing Care Management Virtual Lecture Classes. To officially begin our presentation, I will now present both the background and the purpose of our study. As the COVID-19 pandemic shifts nursing education to an online platform, understandably, it is crucial to explore the nursing students' experiences in this new learning approach. The results of this study is geared towards helping the College of Nursing through its students to recognize the underlying factors that may affect student performance. Thus, this study explores the lived experiences of nursing students in virtual nursing care management lecture classes. For the research design, a qualitative descriptive phenomenological approach was utilized in this study to allow the nursing students to describe their lived experiences as faithfully and in-depth as possible. For the research instrument, a key format interview with a general question that the aim of the study was utilized. The semi-structured interview was divided into two parts. Part one it is the social demographic profile of the participants, and part two was a general question with possible probing questions. For validation and reliability, the sample instrument was forwarded and checked by the guidance counselor. Study sample. Level 3 nursing students of one local university. There were one representative in each section which gave a total of seven participants for fair representation and acquisition of data. The participants were chosen using non-probability purposive sampling that effectively catered to the purpose of this study. The following were the criteria in selecting the participants. First, either male or female. Second, a regular nursing student. Third, in the age range within 20 to 22 years old. Fourth, have experience in flexible learning virtual lecture for the past six months. Fifth, have full connectivity status and have been attending synchronous sessions. For the results and discussion, theme one entitled Factors that Affects the Student's Attention Span. This aims to elaborate the reason behind why lack of motivation, minimum attention span, and loss of interest to lecture topics has been dominant in the participants' responses. There are two identified sub-themes in this category, namely the lack of social interaction among peers and the method of delivery among lecturers. These issues and concerns was further exemplified by the participants' responses as they struggle to pay attention due to the lack of physical interaction among other students and the presence of nuisance and redundant information from lecturers, which increases their boredom that leads to the loss of attention and motivation during the NCM virtual lectures. For the theme 2 entitled Self-Directed Learning Among Nursing Students, the participants expressed their views in terms of self-directed learning, which led to the formulation of two sub-themes. The development of independence among learners and accessibility to post pre-recorded lecture videos and learning materials. Student learning independence is one of the considerations in the online distance learning that has been shown to have an impact on the student learning process. The participants stated that the independence toward their learning allowed them to work on their assignments with their own capacity due to the lack of companionship among other classmates. Next, accessibility to post pre recorded lecture videos and learning materials. It is reported that the major benefits with pre- and post-recorded lecture videos and learning materials is that they could be completed at any time, at their own pace, and viewed multiple times. Aside from that, students also express the importance of having course materials and prepared PowerPoint presentations prior to the schedule that allows them to do advanced study. Theme 3. In the interview that was conducted, students shared the destruction in their learning environment which we come up with a theme 3 and conducive learning environment. Under this theme is an obstructed access to gadget. Participants have stated that because of gadgets that are just beside them during online class, it distracts them It is one of the reasons why they lose their concentration. Next is domestic household concern. Participants claim that because classes are online it is held at home, there are household responsibility that they need to comply with, which makes them distracted with their online classes. Theme 4, the last theme identified is the uncontrollable challenges during NCM virtual lectures. 
where students complained of unstable internet connectivity and announced power interruption. A 2015 report by Akamai showed that the Philippines has the second slowest internet speed in the Asia-Pacific region at 2.5 Mbps in average connection speed. According to the Greenpeace, the Philippines has an updated energy system causing a power shortage in the country resulting in occurring power interruption. These uncontrollable challenges have caused disruptions resulting in students losing focus and momentum in learning leading to their unwillingness to attend NCM virtual lecture. So for the conclusion, the results of this study reveal that despite the advancements of technology, students still struggle to stay focused and motivated towards the materials presented to them. Various factors have contributed to such lack of interest and motivation. Factors that are mostly related to their learning environment and situation. These factors include the need of interaction between the other students, method of delivery among lecturers, appropriate and conducive learning environment free from any form of distractions are the most considerable factors that needs to be reviewed in order for an online NCM virtual lecture to be successful. Post-recorded and pre-recorded lecture videos, on the other hand, shown to be an effective tool to promote self-directed learning, which allows student nurses to develop a sense of independence in their learning. Yet, despite of all these implications, they continually strive to adjust and make the best out of their new learning platform to pass the nursing degree. For the recommendation, we recommend nursing school administrators to formulate a more suitable and effective scheduling to ensure and meet the needs of the students. With that reason, a time or schedule that is properly constructed will make the students even more productive during the said lectures. For the nursing educators, they are being encouraged to develop new teaching approaches or styles in order to encourage students to be active and engage in virtual classes. They must engage students in interesting conversations and active participation. Class delivery should be more creative and engaging, and irrelevant topics should be avoided. For the nursing students, they should put away things that are unnecessary to their classes, just like other gadgets, because it is the top thing that causes distraction. And also, taking down notes could help them to focus and stay engaged in the lecture. For parents, they should make sure that the student's home learning setting is appropriate and free from distractions. Having a conducive learning environment increases the student's attention and focus, meaningful learning experiences are promoted, greater level of student performance are encouraged, and students are motivated to exercise higher level critical thinking abilities. For future researchers, further and more studies may need to be done on the experiences of nursing students in virtual lectures during this pandemic to determine the situation of nursing students in other schools or institutions and how they can cope and manage challenges in a virtual lecture. This ends our presentation. Thank you very much for listening.